Check it out, look what showed up on my front door. You find the darndest thing scrapping. How much is a cast iron tub worth in scrap? Let's check it out. Now, first and foremost, I think this makes a pretty clear case of the advantage of a trailer, which I do not own. But if you don't have one, uh, you'd probably need to disassemble them before you could load them because these are heavy as heck. Now, how would you go about disassembling them? Let's find out. Down she goes. Now, first and foremost, you got to wear the proper PPE, otherwise you're going to hurt yourself. Um, for me, that's going to be a full face shield, because I want a little extra than just eye protection. And, of course, gloves wouldn't be without it. And this is going to be loud, so some ear protection, not a bad idea. Cast iron is very brittle. It's not like aluminum, though, in that it can release a lot of energy if it's broken. So that's why we have the PPE. Uh, my friend has some stories about, uh, yeah, definitely wear the gloves. Anyway, we could just bash at this with a hammer, but it doesn't have to be that hard. So anyone who watched the uh, motor video has seen this before. Let's, uh, let's be smart about it. Now the first step was to cut fault lines to encourage the cast iron to crack. We'll see if that's enough. The neighbors are going to love this. <laughs> it didn't quite work. Now cordless tools are nice, but sometimes you get more amps and more power with a cord. It'll work eventually. It's hard to argue with the pipe wrench, though. You'll want to grab any brass off of them, of course, but the most valuable parts are the claw feet, which can sell for a lot of money, but neither of these have them. Once it's broken down into more manageable pieces, we can head to the scrapyard and see what it's worth. Alrighty, let's just get straight to the good part. It was 505 pounds. Now, one of those was a little thicker than the other one, so a cast iron bathtub should weigh, give or take, 250 pounds. Now, the interesting part, although it was cast iron, they wouldn't give me the cast iron price because of all the enamel that was on it. They would only give me tin shred, which isn't too far off, but it would have been nice. So, at seven cents a pound, Canadian, 35.35 for two cast iron bathtubs. So a cast iron bathtub on average is worth in scrap 17.50, Canadian. Now, call around because I did get a hold of a different scrapyard that was willing to buy them as a uh, cast iron. However, that place you need to bring a uh, hard hat and a high vis vest and safety glasses, and I just didn't have them in my truck at the time. It would have made a difference of $6 in total because it would have been one cent more per pound. So $3 per tub, not worth driving home for, but you may have better facilities that'll give you proper cast iron rather than tin shred. Conclusions, is it worth it? Well, it's a lot of work for 15 to $20, but it is a pretty decent chunk of steel. If you do decide it's worth your doing, we found slicing a, a fault line, a little cut to start things in those rounded edges was the most important part. But the ones that go across the flat faces, not as important. It's probably just going to crack wherever it wants to there anyway. Of course, if you have a trailer, none of that's going to matter. Although they will probably ding you for oversize, which will be a cent less. So $3 less 
is it worth your time to crack them apart, however long that takes, for $3? I don't think so. But as usual, that's up to you. Just like liking and subscribing is, which is something you should do if you want to see more scrap guides, tips, and scrapyard runs and adventures. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.